Today we're gonna to talk about Capricorn. And baby made a sandwich. Ooh, yummy. Baby, can you pass me a napkin, please? No cap, Capricorn. <laughs> what? What? This is why I don't film when you're. It's oh. re recording. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, and it's like when you're driving and the sun is bright. That's I, my new light. Isn't it great? I can't see shit, babe. Only the strong can survive. Oh my god, you guys! Today we're gonna to be doing Capricorn! No cap, Capricorn. <laughs> no cap, Capricorn. There you go. I'm Kaden, and as you know, we've been doing Zodiac makeup starting with Aries and ending in Pisces. Right now we're on Capricorn. No cap, Capricorn. Shout out to Ruling Planets for letting me use your thumbnails. If you're interested in astrology and makeup, I'm here for you every Wednesday, so feel free to subscribe. And starting out with the hairdo, I did a little ponytail with a middle part because Capricorns are really about their business so um yeah I just kind of made it simple and I put the hoops on first these little square hoops because um I don't know I just feel like there's like that element of ghetto in them but yeah we're just gonna jump right into it Capricorn is born December 22nd to January 19th and their ruling planet is Saturn Saturn represents restriction, control, responsibility, and being sort of by the book. They are the conservative, the corporate planet amongst the signs. So Capricorn is represented by the goat fish, which I really couldn't tell you what that stands for or why that is. So I'm just not even going to try to go there and try to explain. But what I can say about Capricorn is that their stone is onyx. And for those of you who don't know, because every sign has their set of stones and flowers, etc. Onyx is the gem or the stone of mourning. And I wear my onyx with me all the time. It doesn't necessarily mean that you're mourning but it's just kind of like protecting you from not so nice entities. Capricorns are known for having dark humor. They like talking about death. They like joking about death. They like joking about suicide. They're very dark humored people and they're not afraid to get in touch with the spiritual side. So the black onyx is very fitting as well as the black poppies, which are one of their flowers. There's a lot of black themes going on with Capricorn, but I did not want to incorporate that in today's makeup because I didn't want it to look a lot like Scorpio, which had a lot of black in it. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of browns and dark burgundy colors for Capricorn because one, they're earth signs, and two, they're very dark humored nightlife type people. So it's only fit. When it comes to career, Capricorns can go either two ways. Either they don't fit in functionally with the corporate world or the status quo of career, so they tend to kind of go off the rails. But most Capricorns are the other type in which they excel in traditional job structures like architect, lawyer, business entrepreneur, executive, etc., etc. Capricorns are naturally goal oriented people. So for a Capricorn to not have a plan is not really a fun time in their life. What I will say about Capricorn is that they like to commit to their career path, their career goals. So anything that makes the money they are dedicated to, but they have a hard time settling down with someone and committing to someone right away. Meaning it might take a couple of lovers for them to want to settle down with the one. But once they do, they are all for it, 100% supportive of settling down and spending the rest of their life with someone who truly makes them happy. Capricorns are most likely to own their house. They're also the type to own their own vehicles. It's funny because Capricorns are such long-term planners, very serious type of people, and they come right after Sagittarius, which is completely the opposite. Can't settle down for anything. Capricorns tend to be noticed for their very boring personalities because they are serious people. They take themselves very seriously. They don't put themselves in bad situations for the most part. And if they do, there's some other elements in their chart that contribute to that. But they're very by the book people that don't like to generally break the rules. They don't like to associate themselves with people who are putting them in a bad light. And they don't appreciate others who don't take themselves 
themselves seriously or them seriously. It can be kind of difficult to get into Capricorn's close circle, but once you're in, you're pretty much there for life and they will tolerate you through the motions. As serious as Capricorns take themselves, they are very likely to bail on you. If you make plans with a Capricorn or you try to depend on them for something, they're very quick to change their mind and decide that they don't want to be so dependable, which isn't necessarily a bad thing because the good thing about that is that a lot of people like cancers once they make a promise sometimes they promise things that they can't even do so they just follow through with it and they complain about it the whole time capricorn at least takes into consideration hey i don't feel like doing that anymore and i'm not afraid to say that uh yeah it's not happening however that can lead to problems in their personal life if they tend to do that all the time or if they really miss an opportunity where they could have been there for somebody most of the time though really good discretion is used and capricorn will be there if they're needed but if it's something that's not really like a big deal they're not afraid to cancel but they're just like they're the type to overshare they really like honesty transparency they do believe that you know everyone's been through it and you're stupid to pretend that you haven't so they're very real in that sense what i will say about capricorn though every capricorn i've come across is very respectful towards people in general they're not mean people they like giving people their personal space. They like having their personal space. They enjoy boundaries, setting them and following them. They're just all around respectful people. In fact, I would say that respect is just one of those things that Capricorn demands from other people. And they're smart in the way where, how can you demand respect if you don't give it, you know? I once had this job where I was pretty much the only girl. And the person who was training me for the job was obviously male, but he was a Capricorn. And he was so respectful. One, he was just a, an incredible person to be trained by. He knew his shit. He was patient. He taught you, you know, what you need to know. He didn't make you feel stupid if you didn't know things. So he was just great in that sense. And he was a no nonsense type of person. So as long as you respected him and the job, he had your back. He was also very respectful in general because, you know, like, I'm not saying I'm like the most beautiful, but I'm not ugly either. And when you work with guys or even are around guys, it's hard to tell who's friendly with you to and wants to be your friend and who's just friendly to you because they want something else from you and with girl code it's respectful if you are you know respectful and not looking for trouble it's always respectful to mention your fiance or you know whoever you're with if, if you're not single basically to mention that you are not here to you're not looking for anything to just kind of subtly give the the hint and that's exactly what he did. So he would tell me about his girlfriend and tell me how they met, why, why he loves her, how he's planning to propose or, well, he didn't really like tell me he was planning to propose, but it was insinuated that like she's the one because like, why would he tell me that, you know? And I would talk about my fiance and like how we found love and blah, 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 blah. And I feel like it's just unspoken girl code bro code that you do that so that you know it's kind of like saying without saying i'm not interested i'm here respectfully like you don't have to worry about me and neither does your significant other and i really i feel like we had that unspoken rule going on and it really made me feel more comfortable and respect him a lot more because you know with girls sometimes it's hard to tell when guys are just being nice to you just to you know but it's also really easy to tell when guys are actually genuinely respectful as well. And he was one of those people. And he's not the only Capricorn that I've come across who is genuinely respectful like that. Honestly, you know what I'll say, and maybe I'm wrong about this, but as far as I can think right now, every earth sign that I know follows girl code, bro code, at least girl code. Because my Virgo, my Taurus, and my Capricorn friends I could trust them in a room with my fiance all day. They're not even going to think of my significant other as an option. And I can say that confidently because I am also an earth sign who, if once someone is claimed, even if I'm single and looking, like once someone is claimed, you just don't go there. You never, and you never consider it either. You just don't go there. It never becomes an option later on. Like it's just not, it's out of the question. 
the way I think of it, and I think other earth signs like Capricorn think, is that there are plenty of fish in the sea. If you even think that this person who is claimed by your friend is an option, you get over it. You know that there's probably someone similar out there for you, maybe even better. There's just no reason to ever cross that line. And I think a lot of air and fire signs and water signs think, well, what if I'm missing my shot with my soulmate by not taking a chance on someone who is claimed if they're possibly not even going to work out and then I'm missing out on my true soulmate. Well, let me tell you something. I guess it's a case by case scenario in which you would, I don't know, maybe that is true, but I just feel like they're not going to come to you in that way. It's kind of like I cheated on you for my soulmate, but I won't cheat on my soul. Like it just, if it's coming that way, I just feel like may not be the best recipe for your love life. But what do I know, right? Capricorns are not scared to take risks if they see it as a benefit to them. That will absolutely work out. If they think it's a bad idea and they're not going to benefit from it and it's just not going to work out, chances are they're not going to do that said thing. But they are risk takers if they are for sure it will work out. And the reason is because they calculate everything and they think long term. So usually the decisions that they make are well thought out. Capricorns are generally good at school. They like to achieve their goals and do them the correct way. Capricorns are generally funny, not in like a way that they mean to be funny, but just like their mannerisms and the way that they say things at the right time is just hits you right in your funny bone. I think it's their reactions that are the funniest because they're not very subtle and hiding their facial expressions. Mm, I kind of like this little spotty look. I think I might keep it. Capricorns also love to travel. They benefit very greatly by traveling. So if you are a Capricorn and you haven't traveled yet, I highly suggest that you do. It literally feeds your soul and it helps you get out of your head a little. Because all that planning that Capricorn does, it tends to get a little overwhelming. Not to mention they're not the type to call out of work, so they really just need to take a break once in a while. You know what I noticed about Capricorns? They're very defensive. First of all, they're not very confrontational. They'll definitely talk crap behind your back because they're just not confrontational. But if you roast them to their face, they get really defensive and will probably never like you again. Through it all though, they are not judgmental people. They will not judge you for your status, occupation, money, choices that you make, unless it directly affects them, of course, then they have something to say about it. But generally, they really just care about themselves and their small circle. They don't have the time or energy to be up in everybody's business. They also don't like people who draw too much atten attention to themselves. They're very good at noticing which people are the type to seek attention or do things for likes, and they just don't fuck with it. There is a difference between being the center of attention and getting your, your bag while you do it. And there's also a difference of getting attention for the sake of getting attention. They don't like people who get attention for the sake of attention. Like if people are gonna pay attention to you, you better be getting paid for it. We love to see it. Thanks so much for watching. Next week, we'll be doing Aquarius. If you liked today's video, please leave a comment below. Like, share with your friends. I will see you next Wednesday.